And in other Marvel vs. Capcom news, it's just been announced that we will indeed be getting Marvel vs. Capcom collection on the Xbox. So cheers all around. Although we'll have to wait until 2025, since Microsoft has some shenanigans with the way that they get their games on the platform. And this isn't the first that we've heard about it. This is the same excuse that Black Myth Wukong developers cited as to the reason why their game wasn't on the Xbox either. And Square Enix is finally deciding to put more Final Fantasy games on the Xbox as well. So what is going on at Microsoft that getting games on the Xbox is such a hassle that publishers don't even bother porting their games to the Xbox, essentially making their games exclusive for PlayStation and PC? And if you go and check online, there's a bunch of developers that are also saying that it's a hassle just trying to get their games ported to the Xbox. So a lot of publishers just aren't bothering to get their game on the Xbox anyway. Either a game is delayed indefinitely, or they're just skipping the Xbox altogether. All this time, I thought that Wukong was a PlayStation exclusive. And then people were saying that it was just a timed exclusive. And then it wasn't timed, it was just that the Series S wasn't powerful enough. And that's why it was delayed. Lots of rumors and runarounds that didn't make any sense. And so when the Marvel Collection was announced, it not being on Xbox was baffling. After all, Capcom's other collections are all on the Xbox. And there isn't any real exclusivity deals that Capcom does with Sony. So it left people wondering what happened. All Capcom has said is that there was a technical issue that is being resolved and the collection will be on Xbox in 2025. So I suppose that's good news, but Phil and whoever is in charge of the Xbox division really needs to get on the ball and figure this out. Letting games go this long without being on their platform is a bad look. Maybe it has to do with technical issues of the Series S, and other developers have said it has to do with Microsoft's approval process. But whatever it is, it seems to get resolved eventually. It's just taking a while. Now there's three copies of Marvel that I'm going to buy. Let's hope the physical versions aren't delayed any more than they have to be either. So if you're buying this game, what are you picking it up on? The Xbox or the PlayStation? Maybe even the Switch? Maybe even all three? I'd like to know where most people will be playing. So make sure to give the video a like and please subscribe. Till next time.